Narcissists are well known for always being the tis I, tis I, me, myself, and I individuals. They are competitive enough to throw you off the ring so that they will have all the glory. Like any ordinary person, they always get even with those who hurt them. Ironically, they are attractive to individuals who can stand a chance to break them, the super empaths. Since only super empaths could destroy narcissists, have you ever wondered how it could be the other way around works? If you are a super empath who asks this question in mind, here are 10 signs narcissists come back at you and finish you off when they feel you are getting rid of them. Number 1. They will stick like bubblegum in the hair. Have you ever tried being stuck with a piece of bubblegum in your hair when you are still a kid, right? Your cysts are hard to get rid of, just like a piece of bubblegum in the hair. They will establish a codependent relationship with you, knowing you are an empath. They will use it to their advantage until you can no longer decide without them. A toxic relationship trait, right? You will then think twice as an empath about engaging in any arguments with them. To satisfy your codependency, you will give him all your attention and be all ears to every need they have. Evident as it is, you need to find a way to break this bond to free yourself from this kind of entanglement. Number 2. They will let you detach from others. Knowing for being needy of attention, Narcissists will require your full attention to them. Thus, they will stay by your side for an extended period. For example, you are seated with your closest friends at a gathering. Once they sense that your attention has been redirected to cater to others, they will do unnecessary things, making you refocus on them. Narcissists will make you lose contact with your friends you are in conversation with even your loved ones. They do this to get your full, undivided attention. Suppose you don't want to lose connection with the people you value most. In that case, you must be vigilant enough to decipher the narcissist's ciphers. Number 3. They will gaslight you. Nowadays, this deceitful method is very notable. With just one phrase, you can manipulate people into changing their beliefs about oneself. Have you ever tried being gaslighted where people let you believe that you are this and that when you are not? This kind of method is one of the many narcissists trickery. They will make you think that tending to your needs is selfish and that you should not be doing that because you are designed to help others, not yourself that you don't deserve to ask help from people because you are the one who should be helping others. Narcissists do those things to subdue you to do their bidding. Frustrating, right? As an empath, you must stand your ground and stick to your beliefs to not be manipulated by their words. Number 4. They will lower your self-esteem. You will only do a great job as an empath in helping others when your self-esteem is stable. When your self-esteem is low, you tend to isolate yourself from others because you think you will not be able to aid them when you need somebody's help. When you lose this stability, narcissists will take this opportunity to strike at you. Since you are sensitive as an empath, every criticism that a narcissist could throw at you can lower your self-esteem resulting in you questioning your self-worth. To counter this method, you must be open to criticism and learn to develop yourself as your better version. Number 5. They will play the victim card. No matter what you say or do, good or bad, narcissists will play the role of a victim in every scenario as if you are constantly attacking them. Have you ever tried helping someone to the point that you are blamed when having an unexpected outcome or mistake? Narcissists will blame you for all the things that happen to them. From their point of view, they are always right, so you will always be the bad guy. Isn't it a familiar scene in a movie show or soap opera? 
They will transfer the blame to you and act as the vulnerable one to have control over you. Hard as it may seem, when you encounter a narcissist in an unfavorable situation, shut off your empathy as an empath and never help them. Number six, they will guilt trip you. As you spot the schemes of a narcissist, your initial thought is to leave them. When this happens, they will start to guilt trip you about how you have treated them until you feel bad about yourself. Being sensitive to others' feelings as an empath, they will want to think that you have made their situations worse than before. You may feel sorry about them and may give in to the feeling responsible about what they accuse you of, but it's best to ignore that feeling and leave them be. Number 7. They will instill trauma. When you have all the courage to leave a narcissist, trauma will haunt you. After all the things you have gone through, you will find it hard to trust another individual. Other than that, it may also result in you questioning your self-worth. It will be difficult for you to let go as an empath, but narcissists will be fine without you by their side. They will just replace instantaneously because of their no one is indispensable motto. It will take you a significant amount of time to process and heal after everything you have experienced. It is best to detach from everything and unwind and restore yourself. Spend some time alone and do what you love most. You have all the right to do that. Number 8. They will try to get you back. Used to having you around, a narcissist may do everything to get you back. They will make you believe they have changed and will make things better for you, but do not be deceived. Narcissists have a hard time adjusting themselves. According to Dr. Darvasila, a clinical psychologist, narcissists rarely change. For narcissism is a lifelong personality trait and generally worsens with age. Have you experienced waiting for things that never came? If you are intoxicated by their idea of change and will wait for it to happen, it will take forever to do it. If you are free of them, maintain to keep your distance. Number 9. They will become aggressive. Narcissists want to be in control of every single thing. They will do everything to get what they wish, thus becoming dominant in any aspect. What happens if you go against their current when you decide what's best for yourself? Or in general, just ignoring or rejecting their authority? They will be enraged and become aggressive to the point that things will be awful. Known to be beggars of praise and adoration, they will disregard those when being rejected. Familiar with traits, they will never miss the opportunity to hurt people. The number 10 list would suffice. Number 10. They will threaten you. In some rare cases, a narcissist obsessed with you as an empath will threaten to harm you, themselves or your loved ones. They will bring hell to everything you have. They will even stain your social reputation to ruin your career to get you back. Brace yourself for repeating threats. If you are persistent enough to shove them, they may find ways to hurt your closest friends or family. Once this occurs, Never think of retaliating to them. Instead, report the threats to authorities and ask for protection. It is better to be safe than sorry. These are just some possible ways narcissists could think of to get back at you. Have you ever heard of someone who always thinks highly of themselves, yet flies off when fighting with the littlest criticism you throw at them? Think twice about getting close to them. If you were an empath, you might want to consider this list to be careful enough in dealing with narcissists. Those, as mentioned above, may come in handy when encountering one. If you can maintain or have been maintaining a safe distance with those kinds of people, never leave that bubble. If you are already experiencing the things listed above, you should take up the given advice. And now is the time for you to act. 
consider reconsidering everyone around you daily and spot the narcissists immediately after a thorough peer evaluation. And when it comes to the worst, tap the authorities and seek help to get rid of those people. For your sanity, given that you have options, you should decide what's best for you. Your peace matters. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Take advantage of this exciting video right here.